Is your water slimy and you own a water softener and you're wondering why? There's a way to adjust it, right? Mm, not really. Let's make sure that we teach you today about slimy water. Now, I know the competition or if we, there's products on the market that are called salt-free conditioners that say it won't be slimy. That's true right off the bat, they're not. But let's first understand where the word slimy comes from so you can really get it. And then you can make that call, do you want it slimy and get used to it or not, okay? So first off, what does slimy water mean? Well, well, first of all, when it's not slimy, it means that there's rock attached to the water droplet. Yeah, see that big rock there? Basically, as that rock comes across your skin, that rock actually clogs the pores of your skin. So your oil from your, the natural oils that come out of the pores of the skin don't come out. Why? Because we've blocked it with this rock. So people get so used to it because you grew up with that or you didn't have a water softener. And now you moved somewhere and you have one. Maybe you went to a, a hotel and they've got lots of hotels have it. Maybe you went to a hair salon and you had your hair washed and you noticed that, that was kind of slippery there. Well, yeah, all hair salons, they have water softeners. Most very high-end hotels have water softeners. Why? Because we want to remove the rock. See, hotels are smart. Hair salons are smart. They want their customers happy, right? So it's pretty simple. How do you make them happy? Well, with beautiful long hair, I'm missing mine, but beautiful long hair, what do you want to do? You want that ha hair to be soft and silky, right? Well, if you've got rock rolling across the hair follicle, what happens? The water, the rock attaches to the hair follicle, making it brittle, making it stiff. That's why you buy conditioners and you do deep conditioning treatment. That's why the ends of the hair end up getting frayed and you end up cutting it or trimming it. We've got a great story. Yeva Berkowitz is a great person where she had this problem uh, and she didn't know it. Every month she was just going in, spending $120, deep conditioning treatment and trimming the ends of her hair. She gets a water system and she's complaining about the slipperiness of the water, but guess what? She loves it for her hair. She sits down after one month of living with a new system. She goes to see the hairstylist and the hairstylist goes, oh my God. And Yeva's like, what, what, you know? And what is it? And her hair is soft. It doesn't need to be trimmed. She doesn't need the deep conditioning treatment. So Yeva literally called me and told me this story and she was so excited about it. She's like, I, may, I can't believe it. Buying this system is saving me $120 every other month. So that's six times 120, right? So over $700 in savings from buying a water softener and letting it be 100% soft water or slippery. And I know the slippery feeling feels bad, right? What we taught her was it takes six weeks for your body to get used to soft water because it's been needing it, right? Don't forget, like the body, the cells all turn over in like 21 days. So six weeks, we really, you're going to all of a sudden realize it's not as slippery. As long as you use like one-tenth the amount of soap. I'm not kidding. One-tenth the amount of soap. So if you're using a bar of soap, just barely do it. You'll see you get a good lather because what happened is the water softener, and I have it here, it basically took that rock right off of the water droplet and then this comes out of the faucet on your body and there's nothing to plug or clog the pores of your skin or get bound to the hair follicle. So this is why it's so important to get a great water softener, not to mention water softeners take out radium 228 and 226, which by the way, when it gets in a shower, it becomes aerated. Now, I don't know if that's when it becomes radium 222, which is the airborne version of it, but it just seems make sense. If I can get that out of the water, don't we want to get that out of the water? Now, going back to water softeners, because some of you are like, no, I still don't want the water softener, right? I want you to understand something. When this water goes through there, people always ask me, isn't there a way you can dial down the water softener? As you can see, there's no way to create a channel for some of it to go in or some of it not to go in. There's nothing like that. So a water softener either gets you 100% soft water or it's hard water. Now I know a lot of people tell me, no, you know what I did is I, I turned it up, I turned it down. No, you have to remember what's happening is, as you can see from this example here, 
that it's either going to take out all the rock or not all the rock. So if this thing gets filled up with rocks and we need 12 pounds of salt to clean it, it then gets clean. But if let's say that you decided you were going to regenerate it less often, well, yeah, you'll get half of it clean, but guess what? That water, what happens is it's the bottom half. It doesn't like partially do it. It's literally the top half or the bottom half, depending on where the salt came down. And it's still going to soften the water 100%. Where you're getting the difference is in the water heater. Because if for one day you have hard water and one day you have soft water, the 50-gallon or the 80-gallon water heater is a big mixing tank. So it's mixed half with hard, half with soft, soft water. So that's why you'll get that blend, and it doesn't ever work right. By the way, you're also ruining, ruining your water heater when you do that because rocks ruin water heaters. Now, again, I'll strongly urge you, use the water and a lot less soap for six weeks. If for some reason you absolutely don't like it and you just want one or two grains of hardness, you can do something. And I'm going to draw a picture right here. You can do what's called a three valve bypass. This is the in, this is the out of the water softener, right? We can put a cross member here with a valve. And this goes in the water softener. And we'll just make a beautiful head. You know, I'm a great artist here. Uh, a valve like this. And usually we put a valve here and a valve, uh, oops, I'm sorry, not there, down here, here. I got that in the wrong spot, and here. So what happens is the water will always come and will crack this valve, just a itty bitty 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 bit. That way a little bit of water gets through and then it gets into your water and you're not getting 100% soft water. That's the only way to do it. And you need to ha have a professional or get a water testing kit to do that because you want to just keep running the cold water at a kitchen faucet and just keep testing it till you can get two or three grains worth of hardness which is what you'd want to have. Again, you cannot buy a water softener. There's no such thing as one that can do a partial hardness. So you want it. I mean, just promise you this. It's going to protect your water heater. It's going to protect the plumbing. It's going to protect your clothing. Oh my God, whites come out so much better. Don't forget, our biggest competitor is Procter & Gamble. Yeah. It's not a special water softener company. It's Procter & Gamble is the number one, number one water treatment company in the world because they're chemically treating the water with cleaning, with chemicals. So the reality is, is even when you use, go to do your laundry, you use one-tenth the amount of soap. In fact, you leave the Tide detergent at Costco or wherever you bought it, and you buy laundry soap. Yes, detergent means over 50% of it is chemicals. So it's actually, those chemicals are now on your clothing. Now you're wearing it. So you're wearing a chemical suit when you're buying Tide. It's now been outlawed in Europe and in New York. Why? Because it's not good for the environment. It's not good for people. So to me, it makes a lot of sense that we go 100% soft water. You use less soap. You change the soaps that you buy, more natural and organic soaps and you will find that you'll love it after six weeks, maybe seven weeks. Now, if you don't, you can always switch to this three valve bypass so that you can have a little bit of bleeding of hard water in. If you have any questions on this, you can check the link out below, angelwater.com, and certainly uh, we're always available to answer any questions for you. Uh, we love water. We love what it does for you and your health, for you and your family, and how it can save you guys money. So that said, if you have, need anything, you know my name is Drew and I am here to serve you.